Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, it's time to rehouse my smaller inverts that I purchased from this year's British Tarantula show. So first up is going to be my unknown species. I'll be rehousing it into this enclosure here. Next up is going to be my purse web spider. I'm going to put at least two or three inches of substrate, put that cork bark in as well. And uh, I got this one from um, Martin French, who owns Bugs UK. Number three and four, which is this one here and this one, they are my two P. Mirandas. And the last but not least is my Thai Orange Fringe Tarantula, which is a burrowing species, so that's why I've opted to use the 32 ounce Deli Cup. So I'll put the substrate up to around about here and it'll have a good three or four inches to burrow down. So let's uh, start off with the first one and let's get started. So guys, let's start off with the unknown species. So let's just take the lid off. So I'll put some substrate in there, a little hide, and that should be okay. So just a little bit of substrate, guys. I've just made some up. I was uh, running a little bit low on my uh, substrate bucket. Yeah, that should be fine. So let's just quickly put the hide in. And there we go. So let's get the tarantula. Zoom in a bit more. I'll get my small, small tongues. Definitely got a nice large, large abdomen. Here it comes. And there we go. So you can see guys that the black spot on the abdomen is getting a lot darker now. So it looks like it's... Uh, Definitely due a malt soon, so I'll leave it alone and hopefully in the next week or so We'll have a freshly malted tarantula. So let's go on to the next one So guys next up is my purse web spider So Martin French told me to put a couple of inches of substrate in there And then just put a piece of cork bark or a piece of bamboo upright so it can um, Burrow down next to it and make a little tunnel. So that looks okay. So I'll, I'll put a little bit more in. And I'll um, put a little bit of sphagnum moss as well just to give it some uh, humidity. So if I put that in like that. And if I get a little pen and start a burrow. All the way down, and then hopefully it will find that hole, web it up, and there we go. So, guys, as you can see, I've put some sphagnum moss in there. So, I've just placed the sling pot right next to the burrow. So, I just want it to walk straight inside that hole if I can get it to come out. Yeah. Here it comes. And I'll just get it just to go down there. And just get my tongs and hopefully get the sling pot out. And there we go. And there we go, guys. Safely inside its burrow. So let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up are my two P. Mirandas. Now, if you've noticed, I've decided to use these two 32 ounce deli cups that I purchased from the Spider Shop um, last year. Uh, the Spider Shop are a fantastic company. Um, please check them out. 
So guys, I noticed in my trusty little cabinet, I have these two pieces of cork bark. And because the P. Miranda is an arboreal species, they like to live in trees. So these are absolutely perfect for them to uh, web up and uh, do their own thing. So I'm going to keep them in the 32 ounce deli cups until they're at least the two and a half to three inch in leg span. So let's get started. So guys, first up, some substrate. I'm just using my very large spoon. I'll put a couple of inches of substrate in here. So I can put the uh, piece of cork bark in. And there we go. So let's just reposition the substrate a little bit. That should be okay. So let's just put a piece of the cork bark in this one. Uh, let's put that one in there as well. Yeah, I'm happy with them. I'll um, put a bit of um, sphagnum moss in there as well, just to uh, lift the humidity. And there we go. So I've put the sling pot inside. Let's just give the tarantula a touch and hopefully it should. Here it comes. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Not very big, around the inch mark. So let's go on to the next one. So P Miranda number two. This one looks yeah, roughly the same size as the uh, the other one. Right, it's been a little bit stubborn. <laughs> which uh, can happen from time to time. It don't really want to come out of its sling pot. Ah, there we go. Just give that a little touch. And there we go, guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go on to the last one. This is my orange toy fringe trench lap. So, this one is uh, fairly straightforward and simple just um three or four inches of substrate a bit of sphagnum moss and put the tarantula inside so guys let's just put the substrate inside and get it all on my hand <laughs> loads and loads more i've got a little bit of sphagnum moss in there as well so what i'll do is i'll um i'll get a little pen and i'll um make a little burrow just there it might use it or it might just uh do its own and there we go it's uh like i said yeah it's fairly straightforward nothing uh too spectacular guys and uh let's put the transfer inside its new enclosure So guys, just because the tarantula has made a burrow inside the sling pot where the substrate is, I'm just going to pull out the substrate. And then it's just inside there. You can just see its uh, abdomen sticking out if I just zoom in a bit more. So if I just get my trusty little stick, hopefully it uh, should come out of this little burrow here which it's uh, very happy to stay in don't want to try and damage the spider in any kind of way so if I just give it a little touch and it's been a, a stubborn little git but, uh, no, it's not coming out. So I'll leave it in there, guys, and let it come out when it wants to. So please stay tuned for tomorrow's uh, rehousing. I'll be rehousing the larger inverts that I got from the British Tarantula Show. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching, everyone.